I see your background. That's a wonderful place. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this room's pretty dull. Outside, you'll see I've got colorful taste. <laughs> would you say there's any items in your home that you would want to replace? <laughs> and welcome to Sounds Like, the only panel show that's all about rhyme. I am your host of the panel show, haven't done it in a couple weeks, but I'm back to punch and sweep, duck and weave, it's shuffle tea. <laughs> Joining me as always in Rhyme Square is some guy you didn't know who gets numbers like a viral video, and he's also the second best rhymer in the show, it's Jamie Blees. How do you feel about losing to me last week, bitch? <laughs> Put wow. it down to them questionable judging. Do you know what I mean? That's rich. Now, nah, fair dues to you, man. It was good going back and forth with you, man. We ain't done that for a while, have we, so? I mean, you know, a lot of people are saying the better man won. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. They're saying the more handsome man won. I don't know about that either. But look, it's happened now. Um, how are you feeling about this this uh, this setup we've got? You feeling good? Yeah, we've got a great panel. I mean, this is for Battle's True fans. Always thought of them highly. With better raps than Wu Tang and glorious rhyme schemes, it's Bagnell Yunnan, Caustic, and Mike G. Cheers! Cheers! All right, you got any rhymes to, to kick us off with, mate? A couple of, a couple of, uh, yeah. a couple of appetizers. Let's give them a little warm up. So, if I said the scheme was loss adjuster, uh, got your number. On that scheme, there's a Ben Stiller movie. Oof, a bit thunder. I once watched that movie with Caustic's mother. <laughs> <laughs> On the same scheme, there's a skincare product. Ooh. Oh, I got it. Body butter. Boom, baby. Kill got him. it, brother. Childish Gambino. Donald Glover. Cheers! Boom, baby. There we go. Oh, speak. Now, we've got some uh, great, amazing guests with us today. So let's do the introductions. To think that I'd meet someone from Odd Future was a pipe dream. Would have preferred Tyler the Creator, but fine, we only have the budget for Mike G. That's suitable. That's very suitable. Now, this panel shows bringing new characters, huge talents, and a few amateurs. One day we'll be able to afford the two Gallaghers, but for now we've settled for unanimous. Hey, I like that. He eats his food with a forklift and a swordfish, lowers the tone like a drawbridge, finally made it onto our shortlist. It's the one and only Caustic. Woo! After being trapped in my house for the better half of a year, it goes without saying that I'm just happy to be here. Hey, yeah. he's a rhymey boy. And amazing. finally, the good guy, though he's a handful. Wish I could marry the bloke, I just need a chapel. I'd be so upset if he chose to leave the channel. It's my best friend in the world, Liam Bagnall. I'm a bit weird. Man. Why are you being nice to me? Well. <laughs> Basically, so I've, I've spoken to an HR specialist, and it turns out that my management style has been described as toxic. And uh, yeah. in some cases, I've been urged to make a bit of a change. So I just want you to know that today I'm making a genuine, considered, concerted effort to change, and everything will be done through the correct channels in future. And I'm just sorry for my actions. Are you saying my words got through to you finally? Yes, mate. Yeah, I I'm really sorry about how I've acted in the past, and I'm trying to make a change. That's nice. All right, mate. Let's go through this journey together. Thank you. Now, there are two separate teams tonight going to be Bagnall and Unanimous versus Mike G and Caustic. Uh, without further ado, shit, let's get into round one. Okay, round one, Rhymes in the Wild. This is where each contestant is charged with finding two items that make the best rhymes that they can in real life from around their houses. Please, have you got an example for us, please, pal? I do indeed. <clears throat> got a nice little easy one for you. So... Me. Here we have some lighter fluid. We do. And here I have a mug. It says, I'm with stupid. <laughs> hey. <laughs> <That's sick. laughs> Unanimous. Have you got a rhyme in the wild for us? Yeah, but see, like I'm gonna be that awkward guy that's got three. Oh, items. here we fucking go. Five seconds in, and he's already making excuses. <laughs> I wasn't sure what to wear to the show. So I thought probably probably black pumas. 
<laughs> Probably. I'll put the bird over you like the John on this can tuna. <laughs> <laughs> then wash all these whack dudes like this bottle of shampoo, this orange and satsuma. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Oh, I mean, that's three items. Yeah, you, you can subtract a point. If I win, you can subtract a point, bro. Don't, no, 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 no. Don't start subtracting points. Hey, look, it's all up to Belize. I'm just a pawn. Caustic, how about you? Uh, what, what have you been doing with your life, man? Uh, I've been pretty much uh, avoiding all adult responsibilities for the better portion of the last year and just really getting hey. on my video game shit. And yeah. then uh, all that came crashing back down when I had to go back to my job. Oh, uh, yeah. Arseholes. Do this, do that. We'll pay you. Oh, uh, piss off. Just pay me anyway. Yeah. What's your rhyme in the world, Ghost? Oh, I decided that I couldn't go through with living my life if I didn't show you Goku riding the Nimbus in flight. That's it. Yeah. And a trophy I won from spinning the mic. Hey! hey. It's a brag as well. Now, Mike G, it's an honor to have you on our little show. Have, have you got back to performing live yet? Are you doing any performances or anything? What's up? Um, no, not really. Just uh, been DJing. Other than that, Chop Stars and Mad Battle Rap. Feel me? People yelling at each other is a, a thing to me. <laughs> <laughs> it's addictive. Yeah, but it's, it's great to, uh, you know, be intertwined with the culture. I got to judge the KOTD tournament and, you know, Sick. build a rapport of angry people. All right, Pete, what's your I don't know name? why the judging was so good through that whole thing. <laughs> right. I can't, I cannot wait to. Uh, Everybody was spot to, on. Right, exactly. So, all right, my rhyme in the wild is go. my Travis Scott cereal box. Yeah. And I have a takeoff Funko Pop. Right. <laughs> but since it's three items that you man brought, no, <laughs> something, something that's in store, that's not in stock, is a very own custom Funko Pop. Oh, uh, another yeah. brag. And, and <laughs> very much well cost a lot. <laughs> I can see the theme yep. of our team now, and I love it. <laughs> and Bagno, Bagno, so, some people. So, who I fucking hate. I didn't like seeing this at all, but some people were saying that, you know, you were the worst panel show host since Sam Whittacombe guest presented, have I got news for you? But I don't think that's fair at all, mate. I think you did a really stand up job. I was really impressed. Well, people said that. I didn't see that. I didn't see any negative comments. No, it was, it was, it was in person. It was in person. A person? But, what person? What person said that? I, we don't talk to police and we don't <laughs> snip. So I'm not gonna tell you that, but. Right. You smashed it, mate. What is your rhyme in the wild? So I've brought on um, Saw 1 and 3. Saw 1 and 3. Saw 1 and, and that's, 3, yeah. um, And this Two is ones. a drawing of me. A drawing of me. <laughs> Saw 1 and 3 and a drawing of me. What are you doing all these brags going on at the moment? You, Nan, do you feel like a mug now that you didn't go like, oh, here's my massive dick? It, you know, it's somewhere I could... It's embarrassing, all these... Just, oh, just fucking vibing, trying to get each other one up and just children, do you know what I mean? Dude, do you know why I feel like a mug? Why do you feel like a mug? <laughs> <laughs> Tell you what, though, you're not, be not beating it, mate. Not beating that. <laughs> you have a question for Liam, though. Do you have Saw 2 or do you just not like that one? Um, <laughs> That's definitely the weakest of the series. But then I've, got, I've got two and four as well. Actually, before this, I could only find Saw 1 and 4 in the DVD collection, and I was a bit nervous. That doesn't rhyme with anything, does it? Okay. Well, yeah, I was going to do Saw 1, 2, 3, and then Drawing of Me, and I said it's Freddy, and he was like, no, it doesn't rhyme, so I changed. That's so, good of him. He's here's my happy. argument as to why Saw 2 is actually the best in the series. Okay. Oh, I was going to ask you in no other Saw film is anybody physically picked up and body slammed into a pool full of syringes. That was, yeah, that, was that, was pretty, that was pretty graphic. And that's yeah, one yeah, of the that. funniest fucking things I've ever seen. It's probably unanimous as nightmare, but to me... <laughs> that is my nightmare. That's fucking hilarious. Now, rhymes in the wild, they're too fun. Some great entries, you cunts. But Bleasy Boy, who won? All of them had three items or whatever, so it's, this is it's quite a, a funny one to judge. So I'm going to go with my favourite, obviously. I'm going to go first. I'm going to go Yunnan. Happy with that, man. That was cool. Woo! 
Then I'm going to go Mike G second, Caustic uh, third, and Liam Bagnall in last place. I'm sorry, mate. That's a terrible joke. Fred, back to your old tricks. I want Freddie back. I'm not happy with my boy Liam being in last place. That doesn't sit well with me at all. I am going to defer to the judge, but I just want you to know that that's not something that sits very well with me because he's a good friend of mine. He's done very well today. As we go through this week's episode, we're going to be monitoring Twitter as well because we have a challenge for everyone watching to work on as we go through. So whomever can come up with the best rhyme for Dominic Cummings will be our multilinguist of the week. So get on Twitter and use the hashtag sounds like show and we will be retweeting and we'll announce the winner at the end. Back, no, I just want to make sure that you are feeling safe at the moment in your working environment and you're happy. Yeah, yeah, I'm feeling good. Feeling great. All right, good. Let's move on then. Excellent. Are you wonderful. going to check on me all the time? <laughs> I love I'm just, just touching in. You're an employee and a valued one at that. So well done, mate. I'm going through the official channels. Everything's being absolutely tip top, ship shape. So let's move on. Uh, oh my God. Okay, well, how do you get ready for something like round two? The quick fire rhyme game. This is where I will give him a word or words and then a clue as to what rhymes with that word. You can't come up with just any rhyme. You have to get the one from the clue. So if the rhyme scheme was fend for yourself and the clue was who did we want on instead of Yunnan, the answer would, of course, be anyone else. So we're going to start with Mike G and Caustic. Do you guys have a team name? Our team name? Oh, yeah, it's uh, Odd Present. <laughs> Odd Present. <laughs> Excellent. Okay. You can skip if you don't know, but give it a go, though. You have two minutes to answer as many as you can. Three, two, one, go. Monte Cristo, Corsic's opener to Jefferson Price, round three. Sorry, kiddo. Correct. Beg for Mercy, comedian. Eddie Murphy. Correct. Pencil pusher, kitchen implement. Uh, skip you can catch an instrument. Skip, yes, skip, skip. skip. Oh, right. Right. Uh, breakout Mike G album. Your, your album, album, Mike. You you did it. Uh, Release, you possibly named it. Exile. Break out. Uh, exile. Chase clouds. Yeah. Yeah. Chase clouds is. <laughs> 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 right, MMA. When was Mike G's birthday? Yesterday. Yesterday. I know more about Mike G than Mike G does. Maybe what's up? <laughs> right. You're eating up precious time. Justin Roiland. No job. Unemployment. Unemployment. Yes. London Eye. What caustic is without special glasses? Colorblind. Color. Yes, he is. Can't see colors. Mother Russia. Comedy film. Motherfucker. Um, 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 there might be one called that. Uncle yeah. fucking. Uncle <laughs> fucking. <laughs> <laughs> skip, skip, skip. Skip it. <laughs> right. How special? Where Mike G's from? Of course, it gets this as well. How special? I think so. Anyway, I mean. Skip, let's go. Let's uh, redo my life later. <laughs> Do you not know where you're from? What's happening? All right. Doesn't run. Why favor splodge me with hand lotion? Three musicians from Odd Future. What, so Wait, so, so why is just... simple favor splodge me with hand lotion? One more time. <laughs> it's time up. It's time up. It's time up. Come on, please. What did they miss? Pencil pusher. Did you guys get it, Yunnan bags for pencil pusher? Pressure cooker. Hey. Is that it? Does anybody in America own a pressure cooker? Do we yeah, have... all of you. Can you give me an example uh, that like somebody from the current century would say? Ah, oh, mate, the twenty-first century, maybe. <laughs> right from Mother Russia. Dumb and Dumber. You skipped Mother Russia. Dumb, Dumb and Dumber. Dumber of course. Oh, well done, bad no. <laughs> to be fair, for South Park, Uncle Fucker was pretty funny. Um, <laughs> house special. This might be that incorrect. South Central. South, South Central. Central. Yeah. Okay. Is that where you're right. from? Yeah, I'm from Oceanside, but yeah, I live in South Central. That works. We don't even. They don't even call it that anymore. But you know, right. it's alright. <laughs> oh, I saw it written down somewhere. I wanted it to be cool, but all I right. came up with cool. And then, right next. And quite a simple favor. Spodge me with hand lotion. Tyler, the creator. Hodgie and Frank Ocean. Okay. 
You Nan and Bag, do you do you two have a team name? So we were either gonna go with your Nan's bag or Bag Nanimous, but, but I think <laughs> Bag Nanimous is far superior. I did really <laughs> like your Nan's bag, but I think we'll go with Bag Nanimous. Bag Nanimous it is. Three, two, one, go. Neutrogena, pop star. Justin Bieber? No. Um, Justin Bieber? No, that's not quite right, mate, but keep having a go. It's okay. <laughs> Neutrogena. Skip, skip. Skippy. Please forgive me. Actress from Casper. Christina Ritchie. Correct. Top quality. Yunnan's nickname. Monstrous. Courage. Uh, we the people. Hear no. Speak no. See no. Ah. Yes! Uh, Tickety Boo, how did Bagnall look hosting? Uh, sick in a suit. Mm, I'm gonna take it! Yeah. Easy money, kick ups. Keepy uh, uppies. Correct. Prince yeah. Harry, Adam Sandler film. Big Daddy. Yeah! yeah! Max and Paddy, marijuana cigarette. Wacky Backy. Yeah. That's correct, Bagnall, well done. Vertical drop, the Muppets. Kevin the dog. You're absolutely right. Kevin Costner clocked me at half speed. Three only fools and horses characters. R Rodney. Rodney Trotter. Uh, uh, Kevin Costner clocked me at half speed. Kevin Costner clocked me at half speed. Take your time. It's absolutely fine. Derek Trotter. Yeah. Yeah. Rodney. Yeah. Yeah. On V. From no, Fresh Prince. Fresh Prince. Yeah. Uh, Skippy. Barney. Skippy. Huh? Barney? Barney? Skippy. I don't know. I don't know. No, no, Barney. That's okay. King of the Dot. Yellow Brick Road. Um, Wizard of Oz. Correct. <laughs> Costa Rica. Car model. Skippy. And that is time, I'm afraid, but very, very well done. What did they miss? What did they not get, please, baby? Neutrogena, <laughs> pop star, right. Dua Lipa. Oh, Dua Lipa. Dua Lipa. What an icon. Thankfully, Kevin Costner clocked me at half speed. That was Derek Trott, Rodney and Marlene. Oh, yeah, I would never go. Marlene. She put oh, very in close, the guys. Oh, very close. You run out of time, I think, on the... Costa Rica was the car, and that was a Vauxhall Tigra. A Vauxhall Tigra. That's hard. That's a difficult one. Very popular model. Very popular model. Please, genuinely, did you clock the which ones they got and which ones they didn't for both teams? Because I didn't count any of them. You're out of touch with your hosting, aren't you? But, like, it's, you know, not, not to make fun of you. I'm not yeah. going to start a fight. Absolutely fine. I'm able to take criticism, and I should do, as the boss. It's absolutely fine, mate. Thank you for pointing that out. Truffle, do you look as sick in a suit? No, I <laughs> I don't know anyone who looks as good as, as Bagnall, to be honest, in a suit. But no, I don't. I'm very, um, I sort of look like a badly stuffed pillowcase <laughs> in a suit. Uh, you know, or one of those bad taxidermies. <laughs> <laughs> Shit popping out everywhere. Just now, it's a fucking, it's a sight to behold. You do not want to see me in a suit. My birthday suit, however, now you're talking. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing fits quite as snug, does it? A translucent pillowcase. <laughs> <laughs> Yunan, what's the cake thing about, mate? How did that start? And explain it for people who don't know what I'm talking about. What the fuck is the cake thing? Oh my God, how are you gonna? How are you gonna stick this off? <laughs> okay, so right, what right. was it? How did this right, start? What was it? So basically, everyone says that I baked a stripper a cake one time. Because I was at a stripper. I didn't know that was the idea. And, uh, <laughs> I, was at, I was at a party and uh, it was her birthday. And someone who wasn't me, this is an honest ghost truth, swear to God, bought her a birthday cake. And in battle rap terms, that turned into Yunnan Fake the Stripper a cake. So that's <laughs> yeah. cool. Well, I like how you draw the line at baking. You're like, I'll buy her a cake, but I'm not going to fucking bake her a cake. <laughs> it's, not, it's nice to make someone a cake. I actually respect that. Yeah, you know, it's actually a, a nice gesture, right? But I never did it. No, you're not that nice. I'm not that big, nice. Big on you for not taking credit for such a kind act.
You know, I love like that in battle rap. That's a shameable offense that you might have gone and done something nice to someone. You suddenly lose. Like you were nice to a woman. Like <laughs> you've all got this. Okay, round 2.5 is called Cakey Breaky Heart. In honor of the infamous angle used against Unanimous that he baked a cake as a romantic gesture, we will be going through some close-up cakes to see if you can identify what type they are. No points, just fun. Okay. Oops, shit, sorry. Why are you looking at pictures of me? That is so... <laughs> why, why is that? Yo! Why have you searched my address in a padlock? <laughs> What are you I'm glad doing? that's all it was, honestly. I expected a lot. There we go. Sorry about that. Technical hitch. First one. Who can identify what this is? Battenberg. Yes, unanimous. <laughs> it is a Battenberg cake. This is clearly rigged in unanimous's favor. What's this one? <laughs> Carry cake. Oh, good, good guess, but it's not right. Coffee cake. Coffee and walnut cake. I'll take it. Yes, you nan. Who's this little fella then? Oh, it's Colin the Caterpillar. <laughs> Technically, this is just a Caterpillar cake because it can be either. So it's, it's not Colin necessarily. It's just called a Caterpillar cake, but oh. I'll accept that. Absolutely. Uh, well done, mate. Colin? Well, it's just, there's a, just, just a general sort of, you know, there's a few different ones, so it could have been either. Uh, what's this one? Marble cake. Marble cake. Yes, you know, very good. <laughs> and what about this little number? <laughs> Red velvet. Red velvet, you are smashing this, you know. I told you. It's a Victoria sponge. That's correct. You got it. And what about this one? Look at this for a round. I don't understand what that means. Are you calling yourself a cake? It was a beef cake. A beef cake. Oh. Uh. Amazing. Unanimous, you can never deny this cake allegation ever again, bro. <laughs> Listen, I, you know I'm way too much you. about cakes, bro. <laughs> I'm, I'm, it's, it's, um, I'm gonna just stay elusive on the subject. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't, though. You haven't. I say take advantage, unanimous cake line. <laughs> yeah, you know, I might capitalize off it, you know. You <laughs> We're going to take a look through some of the uh, answers on Twitter that we've got so far. We're going to get some cakes from Yunnan's food van. <laughs> Maybe I should call it Yunnan's food van, bro. That's kind of fire. Someone said McDonald's McMuffin. Very good. Well, all of a sudden. All of a sudden, that's nice. I like long distance running. Mm. Well, that is good. Yunnan, Yunnan knows about the chocolatey muffins. I thought you wanted to go to the toilet, please. Why did he pop back just to cross off you? Sprint back when he had a possible rhyme. Yeah. <laughs> you nan the baker, bro. Mm. Dope boy. You got to just embrace <laughs> this persona. I mean, who doesn't like a little cake, you know? But didn't you, you go know? on TV as a chef for a battle, you nan? They know me on your hood and your block. Marco Pierre, because I'm good with the stock. Gordon Ramsay in the kitchen, I'm savage. Put bread on your head and make an idiot sandwich. It wasn't my proudest moment. I didn't know I had to wear that hat until I got there, to be fair. You're looking at all this as a negative, you know, but I feel like it was great. It was a great experience, but the hat was whack. Yeah. You've just got to admit at this point, the cakes have got you onto national TV. My head's like kind of fat too, so they had to like alter the hat, and I was like, just leave the hat. <laughs> <laughs> the leave hat's it. not fucking working. Yeah, it's not, it's not working. Sounds like a multi to me. Okay, we move now on to round three. This round is called Count Up. I'm going to give everybody 30 seconds to come up with a setup and punchline which needs to rhyme on a scheme that I and Bleas decide and pre-provide. At the end of that 30 seconds, you're going to perform them for Bleas to rank from first to worst, okay? Bleas, what is the scheme that they're writing from today, pretty please? I'm gonna go for cloves on my back. So the cloves on my back. Cloves on my back. Cloves on my back. All right, everyone has 30 seconds. I'm gonna count you in. Three, two, one, go. Fifteen seconds. Got another fifteen to go. <laughs> Take that ten. 
make it nine. Oh, it keeps on counting down. That's the nature of time. Five, four, three, two, and a one, and a stop. Everybody, put your hands up for Detroit. <laughs> hands up, please. All right, excellent. Excellent. Okay, Caustic, what did you get written? <laughs> I wrote, after smoking some crack, I played poker with bags and left with nothing but the clothes on my back. Hey. That's pretty hey. strong. I'm pretty strong. Game, you know? All right. Unanimous, oh, what did you get, a please? Because it's fucking <laughs> dope when I rap. I smoke your opium stash. Leave smoke vapors leaking from the clothes on your back and drop bombs on you like a drone in Iraq. A drone in Iraq. Thank you very much. Nice, nice, nice. Like it. Michael G. What did you get? Uh, you know it's a wrap. When I go to attack the other team, it'll be a sudden death, like the logo from the clothes on my back. Ooh. Damn. That's very strong. Hey. Okay, and Bagnell, uh, what did you get, mate? So all I got was uh, Mike G, Odd Future. I didn't even know you were in that. I always thought Tyler was creator and Frank Ocean's the man. Sorry. <laughs> so, it's, it's all I could think of. I'm sorry. A this. I mean, it wasn't intended to be. I'm sorry. I didn't know that was part of it. I didn't know that was. I thought. Right, um, right. Are those the presses? Are those the presses? Stop them, because well, he's no. done a dick. Well, <laughs> I said, you should know that it's a fact, because I'm stamped in it. I could show you the tat. Mm. Oh, oh, oh. Right, stay for round five, gents. Please. Boy, please. Take that. Set in the scene early. Ain't no holding him back, bro. Look. Is it me or is it hotting up in here a little bit? <laughs> so please, uh, please, can you tell me who won that? My first, uh, Mike G. Easy days. That was lovely, man. Worked out the Thank nice you. little sudden death involved with it, man. That was beautiful. Uh, second, I'm going to go Yunnan. I'm gonna get hate for this, but third, I'm gonna go for Bagnall because you had the balls to just diss Mike G for no reason whatsoever. <laughs> and I'm gonna put you up. Oh, absolutely uncalled for, man. What was all that? <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and then you zoned in on one specific and then person on the other team. It was one guy. I'm sorry. I mean, you're, I'm against you. I'm against yeah, you. I'm no sorry. need for that. Oh, man. Oh, and then yeah, caustic, man. I loved it, but I loved it, but tough competition, man. It was great. <laughs> you all killed it as I always say you only get one chance do not miss your chance to blow because opportunity comes once in a lifetime so <laughs> I remember when you said that thank you yeah I think I got the Oscar for that yeah, um, Bagnall yeah. how you doing you okay yeah I'm feeling great mate feeling great it's been Excellent. a nice episode I don't know if you're aware of this mate but this is our 12th episode and since we do an episode twice a month that means that we've been going for six months now. So we've been half a year deep. We are. Just made it. We started six months ago. This is our halfway of the year point. Um, club, everyone. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, that means that it is time for your six month review. So I'm just going <laughs> to. What? What do you mean by six month review? So, Bagnell's six month review. Right. Okay. Uh, what the performance fuck? positives? Because I've gone through, I, I've been told everything needs to go through the correct channel. So I'm doing it now. I'm doing what I told me to, um, which is get any grievances in a formal situation where we can sit down one on one. Uh, one on one. This is in front well, of Well, there are other people who are part of the meeting, but this is a one on one meeting for mm -hmm. Bagnell Six Month Review. Okay. Performance positives. Very tidy hair. Right. Um, often on time. You have never, ever missed a single episode. And I think that's great. The longer you can keep that up, the better. That's really good, mate. That's your biggest biggest strength, I'd say. Yeah. You have yeah. your own computer. Right. And you are seldom ill. Yeah. Bleez is ill all the time. He's been sick the past two episodes. Absolutely. But this is not for pointing fingers. This is for... We're trying to... <laughs> Why is he having a go at someone else now? What's happening? Yeah, yeah, I know. Uh, uh, six month uh, review about... We're trying to keep it a bit formal if we can. At least I still showed up, mate. Negatives. Yeah, so, okay. Now, 
what can sounds like do to help you take your job more seriously than you currently do? Because a lot of the uh, staff in sounds like are starting to say that you're not really doing, you know, all that you can do and pulling your weight. Wow. All right, but I, this I, is a good conversation. This is an open forum. So. Well, I, I do everything, don't I? What, what, what do you do? Right. <laughs> That's great that you see it like that. I think we can really work together to, to change that um, right. viewpoint. Uh, rhymeability. Now, yeah, as I said, are there courses or one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions available that we can enlist you in to become more adept at this integral part of your role? All I've seen is um, the bullshit ones that you do on your fucking website. I don't want any of that, do I? <laughs> oh, if we could keep the swearing down to a minimum, that would be absolutely brilliant because we're in a formal setting. <laughs> right. okay. Uh, okay. Oh, from us. Okay, right. Three. Hygiene. Hygiene. Are the facilities mm. provided not up to standard or is this a medical issue? What, what do you mean? Do you, do you <laughs> You, you don't know what my bathrooms are like. Well, I'm, I'm fine. I'm I'm surprised what I know. Right. Four, likability. What steps can we make? Uh, can we take to make you less unpleasant to be in the company of? Uh, well, I, I don't know. I, I don't this know. is on us as a company as much as it's on you as an individual. Right. This feels very attacking. We do it, we're doing this live in front of people. Face. Is this right. a physical deformity or something we can work on together? That's uncalled for. That is, I'm, my face is fine, thank you very much. This isn't going to work if we're just doing it one thing. So well, next step, the I the I'm just going to, let me just give you the, the next steps. Six monthly reviews to be increased to weekly reviews. Right. One time on coaching sessions with Shuffle Tea to be taken daily. Oh, open shower gel to be issued to all employees. Right. Etiquette lessons yeah. and possible reconstructive surgery to be carried out. Absolutely uncalled for. <laughs> Ridiculous thing to have wasted time of this show to be in. <laughs> and I must say that due to the HR restrictions, I have been told that this has to be hand delivered. So, <laughs> oh, we're in my house. We can put those into practice. Why, in why the next are you in my house? Sort of six weeks, then we can work on that what? and we can go through it together. Why are you in my but house? as long as as long as you see that I've written it down and we can just be what? Because I want this to work as much as you get, do. Get out of my house. All right. Thank you very much, mate. What the fucking hell? Okay, round four. Now, this is always on a specific theme. And before you answer, you have to raise your hand and say, sounds like, and I will choose who gets to answer first. Now, last week we did video games, but what have we got this fine week, my please? We're going for types of fruit this week. Types of fruit of fruit so this means that i'm going to go through 10 rhyme schemes one by one and the first person to shout out sounds like i will pick you and you can tell me which fruit rhymes with the scheme that i've just given you if you just shout it out then you lose a point for you and your team member so let's have a test trial if you're looking for a fruit that rhymes with mike g sounds like you know, you know lie cheese is correct lie g we're going to start now, parachute. Sounds like. Yes, Bagnall, what is it, mate? Dragon fruit. Dragon fruit is absolutely acceptable. Well done. Thank you. Bomber jacket. Sounds like. Sounds like. Bagnall again. Pomegranate. Very good, mate. I'm very impressed with you today. Making real progress. Halloween. Sounds like. Bagnall again. Tangerine. It's absolutely right, Baggers! Uh, Whitechapel. Sounds like... I don't believe it is Bagnall again! A pineapple. <laughs> He's right and all, you know! Uh, point of entry. Sounds like... Yunnan. A poison berry. Poison berry is absolutely correct. Well done. It said poison, not... Oh, you said poison berry. No, I said what you said first time. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'll expect yeah. it on good faith. <laughs> Lemon lime. Oh, sounds like Goldstick. Clementine. You right. Uh, just a few seconds. Sounds like Bagnell. Couple huge melons. Oh, Wait, it's right. a good guess, but it's not right. Be more specific. Sounds like. Are you an animus? Honeydew melon. Yeah, you love to see you watch it, baby. Pork belly. 
So I was like, you not again. Strawberry. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Gary Barlow. Sounds like, uh, 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 you name it. Avocado. Oh, my giddy arsehole. He's right. <laughs> um, and Macintosh. This is a fun one. Sounds like. Yeah. Uh, apple stick. Applesauce? Because of the accent and the, the thing that, I mean, I'm tempted to say, I mean, should we just, I mean, should we just get, give it the point? <laughs> as, it's, as it's the fun one, I think we should, I don't know, it's up to you, man. I think we give it the point. I think we're just, you're just too young to waste the wear. What do you think though, Mike G? A type of squash. No, it's not. I think I'm going to give it the core stick. I'm going to give it the core stick. I'll take it. Right. I've got a loopy loop, but I think I'm gonna give it a go. Oh, uh, <laughs> the there was some more, wasn't it? Before, yeah, the parachute. You 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 killed it with a dragon fruit. Also, it could have been obviously passion fruit. Would have probably accepted apple juice. To be fair, then Ooh. for Halloween with tangerine, there's also a mango steam, which was you know what I mean, nice one. There. And for the for the Macintosh. It was going to be the fun one because it's relevant for that. So it was Apple Watch. You know what I mean? Oh, that's but we'd accept Apple Sauce, man. Apple we'll go for sauce. That. Apple Sauce, yeah. Caustic. Now, you have a moment I wanted to talk about. You had an amazing moment a couple of years ago, I think, where someone gave you a pair of glasses that made you see colour for the first time in your life, I believe. Or it was a specific colour. Was it yellow? Uh, yellow and blue, pretty much. Yellow yeah. and blue. It was an incredible moment. So I just wanted to share it on this, if that's all right, with the viewers at home so they can share this pretty amazing moment. Definitely. Um, so behind your back, a couple of your friends came together and decided to uh, to oh, get fuck. to get in on <laughs> a little bit of something you may or may not have heard of. You, you talked about it before. Are these whippets? No. Open that shit up. Oh, hell no, bro. Nah, dude, I'm ready for <laughs> What color is it that you have trouble seeing? So he, like, so uh, it's blue, yellow. Yeah, color blue, yellow, yeah. deficient. So he, right? But we can't shirt. see his stuff. He's <laughs> blue, yellow, deficient, and a Warriors fan. Yeah, it's yeah, a rough like, life. I'm about to see my jersey for the first time. Is that what you're telling me? Well, maybe. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there's something. Look down at your shirt and see if it's any different. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, shit. Is that really helpful? That's really helpful. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah <laughs> Battle rap wins. Yeah, I'm trying to find some color shit. What is this? Like, so this is Low, look at the colors on the that's box. Purple. purple. That's purple. That's what I can see. Everything is this right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucking freaking out right now. No? <laughs> You've never seen purple before? I've never seen purple before. No in my shirt. <laughs> my shirt, this is not purple though. It's no, it's blue. blue. It's like a royal blue. That's what like blue is. And then have you ever, have you seen the yellows? Like did the oh yellows kind of thing? God, bro. So like, like, yeah, because like with tritonopes, like yellows are supposed to be like more extreme, so. This has always been like gray to me, like white. Gray. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought that was amazing, man. What a day, bro. I thought that was absolutely brilliant. Nice. Then I went inside and did a battle while wearing them. Oh, really? Yeah, it's a pretty interesting experience. How, how did it feel? Like, what was, can you, can you put it in words? Like, because I, I can't even imagine not seeing something like that. It feels so like, yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's it's hard to imagine something that you've never seen before. You know what I mean? That's why it was. I mean, it's really like I felt like I unlocked like a third of my life that I didn't know about before. You know what I mean? It was. I was, I, I was super into grass. Like I love looking at grass. <laughs> I was like, grass is hella tight, bro. I was like, hey, y'all know about grass. <laughs> Okay, so we move now on to round five of Sounds Like, where la dee da is bar for bar. Now, round five is where we pit two players against each other to have a direct rhyme off on a scheme by me and my guy, Blees. You'll be paired up with a minute and a half of uninterrupted back-to-back -back lines. If you can't continue, then you are disqualified. If you make it through the one and a half minutes, then it will be up to Blees to analyze a blueprint and decide on who wins. So, 
First up, we have, I believe, Unanimous versus Mike G. <laughs> Oh, let's go. Let's go. Uh, it's happening. It's happening. Now, please, can you tell us what the rhyme scheme is going to be, please? Of course. So for you, you Nana Mike G, the scheme is cut to the chase. Now, I'm going to give you a minute and a half. I would like unanimous to start in three, two, one, go. Blowing up in your face like I chucked a grenade. I see your background. That's a wonderful place. <laughs> Let's go, Mike. You know, so, Let's go. you know so much when you're stuck in it, mate. Well, how did you make it to such a wonderful space? <laughs> I'm fucking... Yo... Um, I, I just live with a couple of mates. <laughs> <laughs> well, you did hesitate. That's something in which I can relate. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this room's pretty dull outside. You'll see I've got colorful taste. <laughs> <laughs> uh, would you say there's any items in your home that you would want to replace? <laughs> No, but I want to move where you're from in LA and run with the grapes. Oh. <laughs> you actually should come here and come to the States. Yeah, <laughs> oh, oh, and if me and you battled, I'd be pumping the gauge. Oh, 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 I didn't think we'd take it to that place. <laughs> <laughs> right, time, 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 time. That's a Hilarious, man. That was a good one. I love it when it's like that. I love it when it's like topic back and forth. Unanimous. If you point a gun at my teammate, you're going to get punched in the face. <laughs> 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 All right, please. Who are you going to give that to, man? Tough, 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 tough. I love it. As I say, when it's uh, when it when it's relevant back and forth about that, they're having a go at Yunnan's place. You know what I mean? I'm <laughs> going to go though. There any stuff you'd want to replace? <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Like an interior decorator yeah, yeah. just turned into something really like <laughs> interested in your design. <laughs> yeah, funny. Yunnan said it was dull, but he said outside you got I've got colourful taste. I mm. liked that. That was funny. I'm, I might, I might, I'm, I'm going to edge it to Yunnan. I know he stumbled, but I'm going to go for Yunnan. All it was right. sick though, Mike G, man. It was a very Absolutely close killed one. it, bro. So. Now next up, it is going to be Caustic versus Bagnall. Are oh. you prepared? Your rhyme scheme is, please, please. We are going for Caustic and Bags. They have got the scheme. Never enough. Never, Never enough. enough. I would like Caustic to go first. Three, two, one, go. Never enough. My friend Liam looks like a male Hillary Duff. <laughs> um, nice. <laughs> I'm glad that we could settle the dust. <laughs> we could. But would that be mental enough? Uh, it wouldn't be as mental as if we get in the buff. <laughs> what? That makes me want to sharpen my pencil to dust. Uh, I, I said settle the dust. Um, <laughs> and I know that's going to sting like nettles to touch. <laughs> well, I know you only wanted us to get in the buff so you could give an intentional thrust. <laughs> Hey, I'm just asking, it, you know, if I'm getting a touch. I mean, <laughs> maybe our testicles brushed. <laughs> yeah, so my testicles could rest <laughs> nuts. I mean, that shit's basically just a festival brunch. <laughs> uh, oh, uh, festival brunch with less of a punch. <laughs> Bro, my bars are colder than medical touch. <laughs> oh! um, I, you, you've got a nice beard. I, I want to caress it so much. I actually <laughs> also, I actually also used to be incredibly buff. Did you? Um, on your chest, is there a tuft? 
time, time, time. And, and not before time. I, I, was, I don't know why I was coming on to Caustic so much in that. I thought that was just going to mount to the point where you eventually just actually fucked get a ticket to America and fuck them. <laughs> <laughs> I just... America, fuck. Right, please. I mean, can you judge that? Can you, can you give me the, the rundown? What did you think? I lo- Once again, hilarious, man. I love it. I absolutely love this round for this fucking back and forth on the topics <laughs> and whatever. If it sets the tone, it just comes back, doesn't it? But both sort of struggled at the beginning saying the same words, you know. But um, <laughs> you definitely did. That's okay. All right. But, um, I think I've got I've got to go with the, um, the testicles, testicles brushed. <laughs> 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 testicles brushed. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to go for that for the for the, for the humor man. Everyone was cracking. <laughs> Yeah, give it to Caustic. Testicles brushed. Yeah, I'll give you that. Fantastic work. That was great, everyone. Unbelievable, now, man. Now, we, we do have the option at this point to go the other way. So we could have now, just for a bonus round, Yunnan versus Caustic and Mike G versus Bagnall. How do Let's we feel do about that? I'm in. Give the people what they want. Yeah. Let's do it. <laughs> Let's do it. Okay. Oh, the caps go backwards. Oh, oh shit. Yeah. Sure, All right, let's just do this one a minute. All right. Let's just do a minute, a, a, a simple minute. All right, first up, I would like to see unanimous versus caustic. Why don't we go for colorblind? Could do colorblind. I was thinking we could have done the Mike G's t shirt for sudden death. Sudden death. Why don't we do that for theirs? Yeah, cool. Well, no, All right, man. Let's do this. You both know, though. So it's all right, a minute. Yes, on no unanimous speaker. versus caustic, I would like caustic to start. Three, two, one, go. Colorblind. It was amazing seeing blue in the summertime. Mm. Nice. And butterflies. <laughs> <laughs> Butterfly. You said that like you flirt with a couple guys. <laughs> you said it like you said it when you looked into your brother's eyes. <laughs> that wasn't a gay thing, just to summarize. <laughs> you were in that lame comedy movie, The Other Guys. <laughs> you were in a porno film called Butter Thighs. <laughs> I was actually in a snufflet with your mother called Hunting Knives. <laughs> You're gonna kill my mother now? Fucking why? <laughs> and <laughs> such is time. <laughs> Seeing another guy. <laughs> that is time. I think there should be exhibition. I don't think there needs to be a winner. I just like it as bonus content. Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't think you could call a winner there, man. It was fucking Let's both killed. These, <laughs> these are great. I love these. <laughs> What was funny though, the, the drop from you now when he just and butterflies. Just the <laughs> <laughs> and finally, we have Bagnall versus Michael G on the scheme Sudden Death. Bagnall to start. Three, two, one, go. Um, you look like you'd cry if you found out that Flubber's dead. <laughs> 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 he was waiting to say that for two minutes, bro. No, come on. <laughs> yeah. like, you look like you flop like LeBron and say, I want a ref. Oh, <laughs> um, you look like in a group of friends, you're the mother hen. <laughs> the mother hen! <laughs> I don't know that phrase in fucking uh, ages. With that last one, I wasn't impressed. Was, yeah. <laughs> uh, what's your brother, Ben? Uh, did you say something then? No. <laughs> uh, something, yes. <laughs> I'm going to get the win this time. I don't want nothing less. Mm. Oh. Uh, uh, time. Bastard. Time. Ooh. And it was an exhibition match, but I think we know. Oh, put, put the hat backwards for no reason. As soon as Bagnall put the hat on, he fucking absolutely flopped. Oh, <laughs> oh no, 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 I'm not having that. I'm not having that, please. Thank I'm not you. happy with that. 
we go through the proper channels, please, please. I want to do the six review, please, later, mate, yeah, think. Trust me. The funny thing is, look, Shuffle's being all nice because he knows that he's in your he's in your flat with you now. That's why he's being nice to you. Well, yeah. Who this? <laughs> I, I normally, knew. Yeah, look, normally he's having a word, but he knows that you're next door and he's scared. <laughs> scared, am I? Well, after that, I can announce that. <laughs> is that my notebook? It doesn't matter. Odd <laughs> present have 23 points and Bagnanimous have 32 points, Ooh. making them the winner of today's wow. game. Incredible Double. stuff. Congratulations to them. You win two middle fingers up from everyone else. Congrats. But just before yeah, we finish, we're going to have a final look through the audience's suggestions for Dominic Cummings on Twitter. So we've got Offing the younglings, and there's a picture of Anakin Skywalker about to be killed. Dominic <laughs> Cummings promises something but offers you nothing. Oh, that's good. Chopping and cutting. Uh, what rhymes with Dominic Cummings? Oh, I don't know. Dishonest, mistrusting, abhorrent, disgusting, obnoxious, corrupting, and all with mm. Boris instructing. Yeah, that one is one. Yeah, I think so. You happy with that, please? I'm happy with that. I'm annoyed that Sausage McMuffin's not going to win now. I, I fucking <laughs> like that. <laughs> what about communist Russians? <laughs> Ooh, That's good. Damn, That's so good. Nice. Okay, now, uh, so our multilinguist of the week is going to be Queso Grande. So well done to him. Um, if you think you can do any better, then leave your rhyme in the comments section below or on our Twitter, and we'll have a look through some of them on our next live show, which we won't do because I've said that every time and we've never, ever done it. Congratulations and thanks everybody at home for watching. Thanks to our guests, Bagnell, Unanimous, Corsic, and Mike G. Make sure to follow us on Twitter, YouTube, and Instagram. It's at Sounds Like Show. Be sure to join us in two weeks' time and make sure to watch our previous episodes on YouTube and check out everyone's socials on the description below. Thank you and good night. What does it sound like? Sounds like a man. What does it sound like? What are your favorite rhymes, guys? One I always wish I thought of that the source said was HIV test, AIDS. I always thought that was very clean. I like uh, that one that Bender says when he's like... Atomic bomb the designer. Boost extensively. You're the type to smuggle in a couple Cuban refugees and refuse to let them leave your room for several weeks whilst you fuse yourself between them in a human centipede. <laughs> <laughs> Bender is gonna win every category of that shit yeah. ever, bro.